So I've actually made these before for one of my final pieces at uni. Back then I had a super limited understanding of Blender and anything to do with 3D printing. So I wanted to revisit it. First off, let's start with the design of them. To get this thing kickstarted, I jumped straight into Blender. And uh... Uh... Um... I did not know where to start. So I started with drawing. See, last time I made the attachments, Curia didn't even exist. When I made them previously, I only got a few attempts at 3D printing them. So what I ended up with was pretty basic. This time I want to make use of both my characters. And also add something a little bit different on them. I've been using this tagline a lot, Stay Curious, which is so fitting for the characters. And I knew I wanted that on the headphones somewhere. I designed the characters so they were hanging off the side of the headphones, with Curia sort of holding onto Curio so she doesn't fall off. Just like that, the design was done. Now comes the tricky part. See, I mentioned before that my first version was kind of basic. Last time I made them, I also glued them onto a clear case that then went onto the AirPods because I couldn't figure out how to get them to clip on. This time, I don't want to use any glue, any adhesive. I want the accessories to clip on and stay on. I have no idea how I'm going to accomplish that, but that's a bridge we will cross when we get there. Now that I had my drawing, I modeled it in Blender and it looked awesome. I was so happy with it. I was able to position the characters so it actually looked like the pair of them were holding onto the headphones for dear life. On the other side, I knew I wanted text. I wanted to stay curious on the other side of the headphones. Blender has now made it so easy to make this inflatable text. It's insane. Basically, there's an option in the sculpting menu to inflate your text. And while I've done this a few times, I've never 3D printed it. So I wanted to see how it looked. This was where I hit a roadblock. See. The project was progressing awesome, but getting them to clip onto the headphones was gonna be the hard part. See, I know I said they were my headphones, but these are my headphones. I actually don't own a pair of AirPod Maxes. I borrowed them off my girlfriend for this project. Which made test printing a little bit difficult, as you can probably imagine. So, I've been researching this and trying to figure out if there's a tutorial on how to do this and there isn't. So if you're doing this process, it's trial and error, I guess. Basically, I had a reference photo of the AirPods, and then from that, I was able to create essentially the side of an AirPod. So after I modeled this, it became quite a bit easier. I would just model the clips around my AirPod here. I mean, it looked pretty good to me. This was as close as I was going to get without actually having the headphones. So I did that a few times here, as you can see. So I got a vertical one here. I tried making one a bit thicker so it held more room. I was scared that it was just going to slip off the headphones with the weight of the models. And then another horizontal one here. Then I got kind of brazy. Obviously, the design looks like this. And ultimately, I wouldn't want any of these supports showing through. It looks great, but then there's also this white bit, which you would notice. It would stick out on the headphones, so I was not happy with that. This clip here on the left more grabs the corner of the AirPod, so I'm hoping that it kind of secures it in place. Uh, and then this one is covered by the characters, and hopefully it clips over the top. I'm going to 3D print a bunch of them, and then when I get the headphones, I can test them. Yippee. Of course I tested them and none of them worked, but they were so close, so with a little bit of tweaking I finally came up with a few ideas that work. After test printing these ones and seeing that they fit, all that was left to do was to combine them with my models and get them printed. I decided to print them in cold white. This looked awesome. And they clipped on just perfectly. they were missing one thing, a paint job.
Just like always, I got my blue and pink paint ready and began to layer it onto the prints. Finishing up with the colours, it was time to decide how I was going to seal these things. I took to the Discord because honestly, I wasn't sure. We ended up settling on the high gloss finish, which really complements the model. If you want to have a say in a future project, or see projects before anybody else, make sure to join the Discord, the link is in the description. Set, go!